Ms. Poston, thank you. A pair of billboards has Richmond's police chief a bit miffed. The sign suggests the city's safety is in jeopardy because police are both underpaid and understaffed. Richmond reporter Henry Graff standing by live at police headquarters with how the chief is responding to that message. Fill us in, Henry. Kirk, good evening. Yeah, well, the message could not be clearer for the police chief because one of those billboards literally here in the parking lot in front of police headquarters. The police chief saying today these signs are meant to scare people and not help. I think they just insulted my officers. Richmond's police chief is on the defense after a pair of billboards claim the safety of the city is in jeopardy due to poor police pay and staffing issues. They also put that other billboard up that brings the safety of the city into question. Public safety, police, fire, medic, you know, I think that's a problem. The Richmond Coalition of Police is behind the campaign. One billboard points out that the current salary for a Richmond police recruit is 43000 while a recruit in Henrico, for example, can make 9000 more. This is where we want you to see the perspective of what's going on with crime. Chief Gerald Smith did not talk about salaries, but did rebuke the coalition's claims that safety was at risk. He says so far this year, crime trends are mirroring previous years, with homicide cases up by five compared to this point in 2020. There are others who are saying, and putting up other things and saying, putting up signs that give the impression that Richmond is not safe to come live, work, play, or do business. This is not what this is saying, okay? Chief Smith concedes the department is understaffed. RCOP says the department has more than 60 vacancies, and city council has approved a study to review police salaries. This is about politics and positioning. It's not about public safety. Councilman Mike Jones was not in favor of that study and says they're still trying to figure out the future of policing in the city. Meanwhile, the city will provide two-step increases for officers starting in October. If they feel there's greener pastures in Henrico or Chesterfield, so be it. We are going to do things Richmond's way. Back out here live in a statement, our cop says the billboards are not meant to attack the chief of police directly, adding, quote, we want to be clear that we are not blaming the police chief for the situation that he inherited. That statement goes on to end by saying that the numbers in these billboards are correct. We are live and on your side here at city police headquarters. I'm Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. Thanks, Henry.